Hello guys, welcome to the debug arena. In this video, we are going to use back handler to handle this situation. Like currently, I am here at the home screen and and I am pressing the back button. It is going again back to the login screen. So we are going to handle this using the back handler in React Native. So without any delay, let's get started. So to solve this, what we are going to do, we are going to handle the back press event. Like whenever we press the back button of our phone it is known as hardware back press and we are just going to add a event listener to it so first go to your home screen this is my home screen code and inside component did mount write this code back handler don't forget to import it first import back handler okay now add event listener to it And now it is known as hardware back press. Okay. And now pass a function here. So let me make a function. Handle back press. Okay. And pass it here. Just save it and inside it. Let's only alert back button. Let's see how it is working. So now logged in again. So now, if we press the back button, it is going back, but it is also showing us alert. So let's write the proper function here. I have been just copy pasting it. I have already written the function. You can copy that. So this is my function. Like uh, this is my alert. In this what I am doing. I just created an alert in this. Uh, the title is exit app. Exit the application. And there are two button. When the cancel is pressed. It will uh, console the cancel press. Otherwise when OK is pressed then back handler will exit the app and after in last you have to return true so let's done save go to login you can see and now press the back button again and now, now you can see that we are getting this exit app uh, alert and also we are not going back and when we press ok it just exits so in this way we can handle this but yes this is not the whole solution you will also have to uh, remove this event listener you just write in inside the component will unmount just write uh, just remove this event listener of hardware back press otherwise it will not work properly this dot handle back press so when i hit save so now whenever you will be pressing back button it will not go back now let's try it i log out and i am logging again and when i press back button you can see that we are getting pop pop but our work is not done here only like when i go to view profile and when I press back button, the pop-up is uh, appearing here also. Like if you add event listener in one of your screen inside the stack navigator, like uh, this home screen is my is in my first screen navigator. So this function will be applying to all this stack navigator. So how to solve this? Like uh, how to ignore all this in the other files? you have you have to write this same function but just change the alert like let me show you now i will open my profile this is my profile page now here i am doing all that thing now just let me just copy it this yeah this is my uh, event remover and 
and let me add okay first import back handler otherwise you will not get suggestions hardware backless and this dot back now let's create this function and inside this function what we will do we will just this dot props dot navigation dot go back so you have to write like this in each and every page now when I hit save and when I click back this dot props dot navigation is not okay I have to bind it otherwise it will definitely not work in class component so I have written the function now let's save it and run it and when I press the back button you can see that we are going back but we are seeing alert at home screen let me see what I had done wrong okay okay you have to write uh, return here true otherwise it will not take as like it will not uh, unmount it now when I view go to view profile and when I hit back it is coming back properly and when I am hitting back again then it is showing us pop up and when I am clicking okay it is exiting our app so in this way you can handle going back to the login screen from home screen don't forget to add all this function in all of your components add alert in your login and in your home screen and add this go back function in all of your other component to run your app very smoothly that's it for this video and if you found this video helpful then please please share this video with your friends so that they can also learn react native